It's a train, folks, <laughs> but not as we know it. It was announced today that rail technology of the future is going to be developed in Warwickshire. Engineers are planning to build a battery-operated, lightweight and driverless vehicle to travel around the city of Coventry. There for this brave leap forward, who else but our transport correspondent, Peter Plesner. Moving and adjusts the perspective and the, uh, the field of view. The future shape of transport in Coventry. A video wall showing a virtual image of a new system called Very Light Rail. Council planners want trams on the city's streets within five years, but admit that conventional trams are just too expensive. I think it will be a massive boost for the city. Coventry hasn't had a new type of transport that is revolutionary, not just in this country, but potentially in the world, that in the future could be autonomous as well. I think Coventry needs this sort of transport. It's a West Midlands-based project with design work taking place in Stratford-upon-Avon and at the world-famous Warwick Manufacturing Group. Very Light Rail is a way of providing uh, tram-type systems at a much lower cost. Uh, Birmingham and Manchester have big populations. They can actually justify current light rail solutions, but Coventry, with a population of 320,000, cannot. And this is where the first of the trams could go from the city's railway station, due for a major revamp soon, along here over to the city centre. Other routes could see trams going out to the Wallsgrave Hospital, Warwick University and even Jaguar Land Rover, basically taking people where they need to go. And those leaving the station in today's blustery weather welcomed the idea. When the metro is extending Birmingham, I would use it. And certainly if it was here, I'd be using the metro. More used to them in parts of Europe. I think it, if you're running late for a train, I think that'd be a brilliant option, yeah, if they're regular, yeah. Although only computer images at the moment, the plan is to build the trams in the city too. Local firm RDM has won the contract. They're already leading the field with autonomous pods. We have some of the best skills anywhere in the country to do this sort of work and actually having having the transport here and actually having it built here just makes absolute sense. If all goes well, very light rail could be running in Coventry by 2024. Peter Plisner, BBC Midlands Today in Coventry. A man accused of murdering